New year, new parts. This is a new products video, January 2020. Let's go. First up, the Grand 72 millimeter throttle body. Now, this is 100% plug and play, means no swapping motors, no fiddling, no fussing, just an awesome upgraded throttle body that's ready to rock. Now, the big feature here is the size. It's seven millimeters larger over the factory throttle body. And along with some slick machining, they have increased airflow by around 50% over the factory 64 millimeter throttle body. Now it is made from full CNC billet aluminum and along with an aluminum throttle plate giving you lightning quick throttle response due to a beefy stepper motor stuffed inside the body. So if you're looking to make some serious power in your BRZ or your 86, you need to flow a ton of air. Take a look at these. I freaking love new steering wheels. And this damn steering wheel is basically why. First of all, it's five millimeters smaller overall in diameter than the factory wheel, but slightly thicker, which gives you like a perfect feeling anywhere around the entire wheel. And the leather is actual true genuine leather, unlike that factory plastic stuff that Subaru seems to love. And it feels like, well, it feels like what a steering wheel should feel like. And then you've got like these perforations around the three and the nine o'clock area for just that extra bit of grip and texture. This is steering wheel 101 and Subaru should take note. It's almost like they designed this steering wheel for real actual driving and it's just about perfect. Now this is for your 15 plus WX and STI and it's super easy to install with all of your steering wheel controls and buttons hooking up just like stock. So if you're looking for an incredible steering wheel that looks and feels amazing, this one's for you. It's awesome. I've been genuinely anxious to get my hands on these. These are the Braum racing seats. Now, the red one here is their Elite series and that sexy black one right next to me, well, that's their Elite X. Now, there is a slight price difference between the two with the Elite X coming in at just a bit more. So, let's go over some of the features. So first, they're sold in pairs. And for the price, honestly, that's a killer deal. Now they are bottom mount seats and they do come with the sliders, but you do have to get a vehicle specific mount, which I will link to below. Now both models do recline and feature some pretty aggressive bolstering right where you need it. And of course they're covered in this leatherette type material and then these carbon fiber accents throughout. And with their aggressive styling, you can really make a big impact on the style and just feel of the interior of the vehicle. Now it's important to note the size. Now these are gonna be more aggressive than your factory seat, which is exactly what you want, but they're not gonna be so aggressive that you're gonna to have to squeeze in there. Basically anybody up to a 34 inch waist could easily fit in this and sit comfortably. Any more than that, and you might have to you know, squeeze a little bit, but even up to like a 36, you'd probably still be plenty comfortable. And then the weight, which is always a concern, but you'll be happy to know that you're actually going to lose weight with these seats compared to your factory ones. These come in right at about 27 pounds per seat, five pounds for the sliders. So you're right around 33 pounds compared to the upwards of 40, 50 pounds for a factory seat. And then the look, of course, it always comes down to personal preference. I'm a big fan of the Elite X. I dig the diamond stitching. It's a little bit more upscale looking. This one definitely coming in uh, a little bit more aggressive, definitely a bit more shouty in your face, but whatever your preference is for the price, you really can't go wrong with either one. And this next one is what I like to call JDM balling on a budget because this is the charge speed air cooling plate for the 15 plus WX and STI. Now this is FRP, which means fiberglass reinforced plastic. It's lightweight and designed to keep your engine running cool is it'll help guide airflow exactly where it needs to go thanks to these contours and well, just clever design. Now these are easy to install and it uses all of the factory hardware. So this can be done in just a few minutes with some basic hand tools and to top it all off, it's gonna look freaking awesome in your engine bay. So if you're looking for a genuine JDM piece that installs easily, works as it should and keeps the engine cool while looking impressively sexy, well, you know what to do. Yeah, this is cool. And next up we have the Russian nesting dolls. Now, but this is the WeatherTech cup phone mount and here's how it works. 
you get a bunch of these cups that nest inside each other and you remove them until you find basically the exact right fit for your cup holder and bam, instant foam mount. Now, if you're like me and have well, commitment issues, this is perfect as you can remove it at any time and it really does a great job of holding your phone steady. Everything's adjustable from the articulation to the actual phone size and this will fit pretty large phones. Overall, it's a very clever design and as a bonus, well, if you've got a small cup holder, well, you just have a bunch of extra free nesting cups. This is the AP Racing Brake Kit. Now these are ultra light weight, like feather light, like sub 19 pounds light per corner, which is incredibly impressive. So let's talk about the specs. Well, first up, the rotors. These are 299 millimeters in diameter by 32 millimeters wide, and they weigh in at a scant 13 pounds. And of course they feature this awesome J-hook design, two-piece rotor, aluminum hat, and I love the Essex in white on the hat. Now, the caliper, this is where all the magic happens. These are AP Racing's super sexy four piston caliper. And somehow they've managed to get these down to, well, 5.6 pounds with the bracket installed. That's crazy light. And inside where all the stopping power comes from is some impressively large stainless steel pistons. And you'll notice there's no dust boots in there, which means these things are serious. They're track ready serious. And when it comes time to swap pads, well, they make that super easy with a single retention pin holding the brake pads in. So pad changes are quick and easy. Everything is just well thought out. I mean, even down to the uh, heat treatment here to protect the uh, crossover pipe uh, there on the uh, bottom side of the caliper. Just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, these are amazing. Even the mounting bracket is kind of over the top sexy, fully CNC'd and even comes with ARP hardware to hold it all together. So if you're lucky enough to have a BRZ or an FRS or a GT86, and you want a properly badass upgrade that's featherweight, just hits all the right notes, they're unnaturally light, unbelievably sexy. Question is, are these the best brakes for your 86? They just might be, you should check them out. And that's it. That's all the time we've got for you today, guys. If you guys want to know more information about any of these products or you want to see what else is new because we're constantly adding new products, click the link down below, take you to a page, show you all the new stuff. It's pretty cool. But I'm really curious, what are your guys' goals for 2020, particularly about your car? Because really that's the only resolution that matters. And while you're down there, actually hit the like button and subscribe because 86% of the people who watch my stuff aren't subscribed. So that's actually my New Year's resolution is for you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.